Lesson number eight, diminished pattern and first inversion with left hand voicings. You can visit the link in the description below to download a free PDF copy of this lesson so you can follow along. In last week's lesson, we talked about how to take a diminished pattern up and down in minor thirds so each of the notes would remain within the original diminished scale. The pattern we used was this. If you remember, the pattern was based off the root of the scale, the next note, then skipping a note, and then skipping another note. We found that, based on diminished theory, we could transpose this pattern up a minor third, continuously, until we hit the original note, and back and down in minor thirds. And all the transposed patterns would remain within the original diminished scale the original pattern was based on. So this week, we're going to take a new pattern, which really isn't that new at all. It's just simply an inversion of the original pattern from the first lesson. So let's look at our original pattern. All we're going to do is take the lowest note of this pattern and transpose it up an octave. So we're going to take the C and move it up an octave, and we get these four notes. Now we can do the same thing we did with the original pattern, which is take these notes up in minor thirds until we reach the octave above the note which we originally started on. So we'd get something like this. Now I've included in the PDF the same left hand voicings we used um, for the last lesson. They will work equally as well with this pattern as they did with the other one. Now one thing I changed to give the exercise a little more rhythmic variation was adding an anticipation of the first beat of the pattern. So instead of playing simply on beat one, we are going to anticipate beat one by a sixteenth note or an eighth note depending on how you're thinking about the pattern. So if we have a metronome on, one and two and three and four. notes it would sound like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I do release new videos every week. Um, feel free to leave a comment below or send me a message with any suggestions you might have for future lessons.